This is a Suga that's been converted into a Dually. So it's got twin Suga wheels on the back. These ones have been turned round on the outside with spacers to space them apart. And the wheel arches have been extended to cover them. It's a bit experimental at this stage. But these are the sorts of spaces that I've made. That's the metal I've used. And that's the width. These are the studs I've also had made. They're not straight through studs, they actually screw in and then got rather deep holes where these nuts sit at the bottom and grip onto the original studs down below and once wheels are on and they're held on with these studs. These studs have been made out of I think EN 21 or 22. Uh, they've also been specially tempered um, to take them up to 12.9 tensile strength. Um, so you can see the size of these nuts. Now these are UNF three quarter inch, so are these. I think these come from Malpass tractor supplies, as do these, but I've had these machined on either end, so this was just standard three quarter inch UNFs, and I've had them machined to suit the profile of the taper at the bottom of each of these holes. <clears throat> and that's to, the taper is to help centre um, the spacers on the original studs. Um, it's not as straightforward as you think. The diameter, the inside diameter of the spacer is an extremely tight fit onto the diff housing as you can see here. So no clearance whatsoever so everything's acting as a support of, effectively because you're adding an extra 65 kilos. These spacers weigh about 6.8, I think, kilos each out of aluminium. Um, and as you can see, I've used the, the larger nuts to help center the wheel because that's, a, I think, a 22 mil hole on the actual wheel itself and these will help to centralise the wheel because uh, it's got nothing else as a reference uh, to centre it against so I have to use this taper so <clears throat> these lock into the hole of the um, stud and then I just use the standard nuts on top just to lock it all up um, but it's work in progress so I'll see how it works out these are uh, extremely rigid and they've only been bolted on at this stage with roofing nuts or bolts 
um, I may put a few more in just for added strength and I might brace it across the top uh, with a piece of angle iron just to make sure that uh, I've got absolute strength there and similarly here on the the rear end I might um, put a piece of angle iron and run it into the wheel arch just hold it in place the front end I'm not too worried about that's because I'll remake this angle piece to come out either full width um, or at least half width and same with the exhaust I'll reposition that 